everybody and welcome on into our final day of the group stage for the E League of Ireland tournament powered by Virgin Media. It's been five weeks of non-stop competition, all leading to tonight to see who's going to qualify for our grand finals. They're just around the corner, April 18th in the Camden. You're going to want to watch that, guys. So tonight will be the dictator of who makes it and who doesn't. I'm going to be solo rocking this first game. Uh, we're going to have an uh, example in with us later on. But until then, let's take a quick look at all the fixtures we have for you today. So leading us off at the very start here, guys, we have Shamrock Rovers, Tyrone Ryan against Longford Towns, Jack Fitzpatrick. And then, of course, on stream right now, we are going to have Dundalk FC's Eric Finn against UCD's JP Sleater. That's going to be an absolutely fantastic game. At 8 p.m., we have a small switch up here. We've actually Owen Mulligan for Drogheda United facing off against Finn Harps' Ryan Duffy. That's our 8 p.m. fixture on the stream. We have Wexford FC's Mark Hayes against Shelburne FC's Evan O'Toole. We have Treaty United, Colin Maher against Cove Rambler's Connor Dooley. We have Bray Wanderers, Luciano Gobb against Waterford's Jordan Hayes. And Galway United's Owen Fahey faces off against Derry City's Andrew Toomey. But of course, the game's on stream. What everybody wants to see right now, we have, of course, the guy usually is commentating with me, Eric Finn, against JP Slater. A fantastic game uh, for our Group D. And, of course, at 8 p.m., we have the massive clash between two forces. Finn Harps, Ryan Duffy, against Drahi United's Owen Mulligan. That is definitely one to watch. We're going to have that on stream very, very shortly. So right now, we're about to kick off our fixture between Dundalk FC and UCD. A uh, little story behind this. We've seen these players play before. Example, they get the better of JP in a previous fixture. But right now, it's the story to see if Example can go undefeated in Group D or will there be an upset before heading to the Grand Finals with UCD? We're going to have to find out right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the game between Dundalk FC's Example and UCD's JP's leader. Here we go. Start off the game here. I'm looking at the lineups. See that Courtois up front. That's a big, big change there. Uh, we know what Courtois is all about with those header downs. It's a meta right now. It's why when we had Eric on the podcast, he was chatting about, not the podcast, sorry, the stream. He was chatting about um, Haaland being that player with the aerial plus. You know, he's able to jump in the air. He's able to head those, those uh, crosses down. And we're probably going to be seeing a bit of that from both players today. And we have Dundalk, of course, in the... Red and black hit here for Eric Finn. UCD sporting the white and blue for Mr. JP Sleader. Bellingham on the wing right now. Lovely ball across the best. Goes for the back post. Can he swing it? Great defending by Og Benny. A player who's slotted in in a lot of these teams in that right back position, uh, replacing Finn Azaz, who we've seen before uh, all these new foot birthday cards that were released. A uh, fantastic player. Once again, we love to see him in events like this. Uh, the E-League of Ireland gets to showcase some of the best Irish cards in the game, as well as across the world. So it's great to see these cards get involved, such as Cullen in the midfield, who gets a pass through, but it gets intercepted by Eric Finn here. And Dundalk putting pressure on very, very quickly. You can see the fast pace passing. It's all guns blazing here early on. And you can see that Eric wants to get a goal and wants to put on a show today. Bellingham on the wing. And Davies is just going to be able to outpace him on that occasion. Patelis in the middle, back to Cullen. And JP composing himself a bit before getting the ball forward. You know, talking about previous fixtures, we've seen in this group right now, Group D, Eric has gone undefeated so far. So JP is looking to cause an upset here and, you know, make people second think who they're coming up against when it comes to the grand final. It will be very, very shortly. I mean, it's right around the corner, guys. April 18th. You're going to want to watch that. But here comes Eric for Dundalk. Tries to get the ball through. Haaland is just not going to be that guy on all occasions when it comes to passing, of course. He's known for his physicality, for his height, and, of course, for his speed and shooting. But passing is not on that list. Bellingham throws it here to Roy Keane. A lamb in the middle. We've seen Eric was saying of how much he respects that lamb card. Goes for the high through ball and... I got to say, that was very smart by JP. That offside trap there was time to perfection. He could see Eric was pushing a pair off the ball and watching, you know, Eric play for, for previous seasons of this, we know he loves an off the ball run here. And Courtois with the header down for JP, going for a similar tactic that we've seen Eric uh, do previously. And with that Courtois up front, let me tell you, he's there for one reason and one reason only. And that's exactly the position you want to be in with him. Mbappe on the ball here for Dundalk, moving forward at pace. Davies again. Going to be the interceptor on the left-hand side of defense for UCD. 
And JP's done well here to defend this this uh, early attack by Eric, has to be said. It's been a lot of pressure by Eric here. He's really trying to mark all these passing lanes. And you can see anytime JP gets the ball, he's two or three men closing him down. Now, this could go against them in terms of defending, having too many midfielders forward instead of back here. But JP slows the play down, gives Eric a chance to defend this. And here's Patelis. Oh, defended really, really well. Bobby Charlotte at the left-hand side. Haaland has a chance to run at it. Ferdinand's in the way. And we've seen Eric talk about Rio Ferdinand and how just fantastic he is in defense. And you can even see there, outstrengthing Haaland. Something you don't see very often at all. But it puts forward there. What a ball. Oh, my Lord. That is incredible by JP. Out of nowhere. Goes for a lifted high through ball across the field. You know, we've seen some brand new tactics in the game yesterday with the or one cross uh, in a previous fixture. So we're going to see a lot of things like that, I'd say, in the next couple of weeks. In these new styles of attacking plays. But here's Eric with a standard high through ball. Bellingham! Great save by the goalkeeper. Puts it across the net there. I don't think a lot of players would expect um, Eric to shoot in that position. I think that's why he went for a pop at it. But great save by Czech. Ball back to UCD. Best out wide. Lovely bit of dribble in there. Finds a bit of space in the middle. Looking for the cross. Does not. Picks oh, Graham and it's just wide. Hansen. Graham Hansen. Oh, a card that in that position you'd at least expect to be on target. But it's just not there on that occasion. And I know in a game like this, every single shot counts. So JP's going to be a bit frustrated with that one. Haaland out wide. Getting chased by Ogbeni. Ball goes back to Collins, trying to get it through. It's just not there. We've seen Eric talk about Collins and how he's not the preferable player for him at centre back. But he has him here on, on the wing side, just to cut off these high crosses that you're going to see. Of course, like Benny up front has the aerial trait as well, so he's no stranger to winning the ball in the air. But JP has it on the ground for the moment. Patelis goes to best. Back to Patelis. The space here, potentially Courtois. Just defended by Eric. Really good timing with the movement and with the passing, but we see here that Eric's just too much of a veteran to let that slide back. Stick to Haaland! Cross, and it doesn't get there. Back to Haaland again. Is he onside? He's offside. Wow. 36 minutes in, and it's already been so back and forth. And for anybody watching at home, wow, what a ball. Uh, it's actually two legs this evening. Uh, the comp tab currently isn't fully active for a lot of these players. So we're going to see two legs here in each game tonight. But of course, that only means more, EA, more EAFC for you folks at home to watch, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Bobby Charlton on the ball. Haaland goes back to Mbappe. Great one-two here with Charlton. Lamb in the middle. That's a great high through ball. Ferdinand's there, but Haaland outstrengths him this time. Ferdinand just keeps that possession. The ball sticks to his feet like it's super glued. Any players are nearby. And here's Hansen moving forward. Missed that opportunity earlier. Can't she make up for it here? Hansen. The skill and trickery out wide for UCD. Patelis back to Cullen. Has options. Courtois. The header down's there. Bellingham. Rodri's there just to stop that. And we've seen already the fantastic combo defense here with Rodri and Ferdinand for Dundalk. And they're proving to be the right players at this moment in time, at least. Collins out wide. Gets the ball back to feet to Rodri. And that's going to be half time. It is currently nil all between Dundalk and UCD here. Eric Finn and JP Sleet are really showing why they both deserve to be in the grand finals. Can't break each other down just yet. But a couple of major chances in that first half. UCD, of course, begging one or two opportunities with the header downs with Courtois. And of course, that big chance with Hansen that JP is definitely going to be feeling uh, coming into the second half. And of course, with Eric, you know, He's always going to be a threat. He's always one pass away from finding the man. So we're going to need to see JP locking in here for the second half. It's been a thrilling game so far. Not very often it's a nil all where both teams are attacking consist consistently and not scoring, you know. Um, in fixtures like this, with this kind of scoreline, you expect it to be a game of possession, but it's not really been that case at all here. Both players defending well, attacking well. And it's going to be who's the best on the day here. Patelis on the left-hand side for UCD. Breaking forward. Tries to get the ball to Courtois. Just can't get it through the defender there. Here's best moving forward for Dundalk. Lovely bit of play, Ferdinand. Back to Lamb. That's a great pass in the middle. Roy Keane leads the attack here. And Collins is going to be there to intercept that pass to Mbappe. Back to UCD. Switching the play here. Goes back to Ogbené. 
Gets past Haaland. Lovely bit of dribbling there. Player lock to best. Options in the middle. Bellingham. Hansen tries to pick it through to the to the forward there. And once again, just the defense from both players has been absolutely terrific. Mbappe on the ball. Playing it simple. Lamb in the air to Haaland. Header down is there. Oh, Charlton just loses possession. Back to Keane. Back to Charlton. Best is there battling him right on the edge of the box. And now it goes back to UCD. Action here non-stop so far in this fixture. Bellingham. Forward again to Patelis. Hansen tries to get it through to Best. And Rodri just tricks him out there. Puts the ball a bit wide. And the ball's back again. Haaland. Collins putting it back to Rodri. High through ball. Is he onside is the question. Haaland has a man in the middle of the player lock. Kane Mbappe. Oh, and it's in the back of the net. A shot that not many times would go in. Kylian Mbappe, the power of the strike, I believe, was the determining factor there. Czech just couldn't get a hand to it. And that's going to be 1-0 Dundalk here. Just inside 60 minutes. A fantastic break. And you know, I called it at halftime. The thing about Eric Finn is he's always one pass away from getting through on goal. And right there is a perfect example of it. Just an incredible high through ball. Had Mbappe onside with the player lock. And it has to be said with UCD here. JP needs to be careful with that offside trap. I'm not sure if it was activated there or not. I think it was, but with those high through balls, if you push players too far forward at the wrong time, you're going to pay for it. And I'm sure he's going to be well alert to that in this moment in time. See the pause here from JP looking to make a few substitutions. Potentially Eric as well here. Evan Ferguson being highlighted here in the menu. We're not sure what that means. Is it a sign? Gavin Bazuna as well being highlighted, trying to... <laughs> Eric here playing around with some of the Irish players. you love to see it, though. A um, couple of fantastic players on the bench there. But what a finish by Mbappe. Um, had a lot of power to it. Unlucky at the same time not to be saved. But for that attack alone, it was well worked up until that point. Charlton on the ball. Could have an opportunity here. Charlton! Oh, dearie me! That is a phenomenal finish by Dundalk. And Eric's going to be incredibly happy with that. Travella, I believe. Wow, with Bobby Charlton, edge of the box. You know, we've seen Kevin De Bruyne do it in previous occasions. We've seen a couple of players hitting the target. But hitting that in the top bins at an occasion like this is just absolutely spectacular. And we can really see here why Eric Finn has led Dundalk to, su to success previously. And that's what he's aiming to achieve here, heading in to the E-League of Ireland finals. Lovely ball there to Davies. It's out wide. The space in the middle, though. Patelis finds Bellingham. Goes to the rainbow flick. Bobby Charlton's there to claim it back. And here's another attack for Eric Finn. Going forward with George Best. This could be the nail in the coffin. George Best running through. Oh, he goes for the near post finesse. Wow. And that right there for anybody watching at home who's a casual to this game or even a regular to the game, why goalkeeper movement is so important. We've seen previously how the keeper rush works really, really, really well for a lot of these players. And that's an example of the opposite. You bring a keeper back on the line, you fake moving him one way and you keep him in the middle there. You faked Eric out and he didn't get the finish. Very well played defensively here by UCD. But at the same time, JP's two goals down here coming in to the end of this first leg. He needs to come back into this game, put the pressure on Eric so that he can have a chance here in the second leg to really bring this game to a close. Bellingham, back to Ferdinand. Open in the middle with Cullen. Moving forward with Bess and Bobby Charlton. Has to be said, he's been very active in the midfield with defence here too. He's been the interceptor in the last two or three occasions for Dundalk. And what a ball over the top. Wow. Cullen is there to intercept. Goes back to Evan Ferguson. Who we see come off the bench here for Mbappe. That's a decision that Dundalk have made here. Well played by Ferguson. Goes for the power shot. Flick up. Wow. From about 33 odd yards there. That is incredible. Definitely want to see if one of those goes on target. We know that Ferguson card has the power shot plus. So it's going to be interesting to see if any of those shots can be launched into the back of the net. Ball out wide to Haaland. That's a fantastic touch from Haaland. Has players forward. Great ball here to Bobby Charlton. He can defend and he can attack. Lovely play in the middle. But it's defended very well by JP. Moved Collins, I believe, just in the nick of time in front of that passing lane to gain possession back here. 
And he's going to want to push forward with pace. Hansen loses the ball. Player locks gets caught in possession. Eric moving forward. Is Haaland onside? That's another incredible through ball. Haaland out wide. Gets by the man. Tries to give it to Charlton. Once again, Haaland with his back to the ball. That pass is never going to be an accurate one. Hansen moving forward. Trying to get the player lock. You see a few player lock fakes here. Very well done by UCD. Making it unpredictable where JP's going to go. Lovely ball. The header down. Messi! Unbelievable finish. In a matter of seconds, that counter-attack sees success for UCD. Great header down, of course. We've seen that as the main suspect here in a lot of this gameplay with the Haaland, with Courtois. Header down the Messi, and of course, in the box, it's always going to hit the back of the net. And now the game's closing in here. 86 minutes on the clock. 2-1 to Dundalk. Is there another goal? In this fixture, let's have a look. High through ball. Goes to the offside player. And here's Messi breaking forward for UCD. Potentially could be the last chance of the game. High through ball. Is Davies onside? I believe so. Davies. Looking for options. The cross court wall. Pass back. Hansen. What a save by Czech. And Best puts it in. And that's going to be the equaliser. Just at the end of leg one. Wow. UCD have laid it all out here just at the end. And is there another chance? There's no way. Haaland on the ball. Tries to find the pass. Charlton. Bellingham's there to intercept the Haaland. It's a messy one. It's scruffy. And that's going to be the end of leg one here. Dundalk's Eric Finn 2. UCD. JP Sleader 2. All even here. After leg one. Uh, what an incredible game. We really got to see a bit of everything there. The passing. The, the attack and the defense from both players was so good as well up until that second half. It just got a bit crazy uh, in that moment in time. Uh, incre incredible, incredible game. And I uh, hope you enjoyed leg one. But let me tell you, there's still plenty more to come. We have a second leg between Dundalk and UCD coming up very, very shortly. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back here to the E-League of Ireland tournament powered by Virgin Media. We've had a crazy, crazy game just gone between Dundalk and UCD. Eric Finn and JP Sleater were battling it out. Came to a close of two all. But we have a second leg coming up right now. Ladies and gentlemen, our second leg between Dundalk and UCD. Let's get into the action. So straight away here. I think there's going to be a slightly different... Different... Uh, Goal here for both players. Um, we've seen at the end of that game, JP Sleater here for UCD really came back into it with a strong presence with counter-attacking football at the end. And I know with Dundalk's Eric Finn here, he brought in a couple of players like Evan Ferguson and he went a bit more kind of gung-ho with it with his movement forward. But we'll have to see here. 
how they both play this second leg. Of course, example being one of the one of the only players in the competition to be undefeated in the entire group stage. You know, it, it, it takes a lot, a lot of skill to be that consistent for so long here. And you might just see why. Erling Haaland! Great save by Petr Cech. Goes across the face of goal. Cech is there to just take the ball and get it out here. And Eric looking to bring Haaland here on the goal line. Potentially put it in the net, Cech! Saves it off the line. Something you don't see often. The ball gets crossed right on the goal line. And Cech has to stumble back in the net to take that one out. Very, very unlucky by Dundalk here with that um, quite edgy style of play. Wasn't successful though on that occasion. Ball moving forward here. Lost possession. Back again to Dundalk. Mbappe on the ball. Gives it over the top to Best. Davies is going to be there to close that door. And through this competition that Davies carried in left back has been an absolute demon for so many players. You know, he can attack. He can defend and he has the pace as well to do a lot of different things. That's a crazy looking high through ball. Don't know what I've just seen there. Uh, that, that curve, I don't know how realistic that was, but goes flying in the air. Ball back to Dundalk here. Best to Keane. Over the top. Jude Bellingham has players in the middle. Keeper movement. Bellingham goes to smash it near post. And once again, you see these keeper movement just keeps out another chance. And Eric's going to be a slightly bit aggravated, I'd say. No one, a couple of those chances have been missed. Haaland! Say, is that say it? Is it? No. Just goes over the bar. Very unlucky again. And a couple of chances already. Not gone the way of Dundalk. So now it's the opportunity to see if JP can bring UCD a bit of success this evening. Courtois on the ball. Plays it across to Patelis. On the edge to Cullen. And Roy Keane is there to intercept. And counter-attack and play is where Eric shines. Tries to give it over the top. Loses it here. Back to Philip Lamb. And it's possession loss in the middle. Left, right and centre. Very intriguing game of EAFC we have. Oh, Collins dispossesses here. Here we go. Big opportunity for Dundalk. The ball over the top and it locks onto Mbappe instead of Haaland. Another frustrating moment for Dundalk here. We're going to really see how Eric Finn holds his head. In a game like this, where a couple of chances haven't gone his way. What a save by Czech. And there we go. Hansen puts it in the back of the net. The rebounder. Unlucky with the goalkeeper making the save. But it's not enough. And UCD get the lead. Heading in to one of the last fixtures here. Group B. Ball into the box. Haaland. Header down. Mbappe. Oh, and there's the finish. A bit lucky again with Mbappe. Ball down the middle goes under Czech's arm. That's twice now. We've seen Czech. Been a tiny bit of a liability with some of these shots, but Mbappe very close to the goal there. Gets the back of the net. And it's three all. It's all tied up. 23 minutes in. Is he onside? Haaland goes to Mbappe. Very well played. Something I think a lot of players can learn from watching this fixture is with Dundalk and how Eric does that switch with the high through ball, sends a player early, it makes you think, you know, he's not going to play the ball to them, then suddenly it's banged over the top and your player through on goal. It's so impressive to see. Oh, Hansen gets tackled there by Rodri. Best on the ball. Mbappe, we know what he can do. Best running through. Ball to his feet. Haaland's out wide and he receives it. Or Mbappe, should I say. Mbappe ball. There is Haaland, the man. Oh, ball to check. Saved over the top. It's a bit scrappy in that defence. Back to Haaland. Keane back to Lamb. That's an unbelievable high through ball. Jude Bellingham. He's going to be looking for players in the middle. Back to Mbappe. Keane. Charlton. Oh, that's an unbelievable fake. Oh, and the green time gets blocked. Unbelievable dribbling and fake shot there. By Bobby Charlton. But to no avail... For that chance. 32 minutes in. Big pressure by UCD. You can really tell that JP. Is trying to close Eric down. Not letting him move with the ball. Or send players forward. Proves unsuccessful on this account. Ball through to Mbappe. Collins is on him. Can he beat the man? Ooh. Collins just dispossesses him. Just puts that hand on the shoulder. And lets him know he's there. Mbappe loses composure. Loses the ball. UCD trying to get the ball forward. But. 
Dundalk have the height to get that ball out. And Haaland now pressing down the wing. Haaland gets by the player. Haaland, Mbappe. Lovely bit of skill here. Oh, Mbappe gets back in. Defended so well again, though, by UCD. Just compacting all the players in the box. And that's a big hoof over the top. Jude Ballingham says, not happening, mate. Goes back to best. Who has the pace to run out wide. Patelis may not catch him here. Ooh, the cut in. Defended well by UCD. And now pressure for it again. Collins to Bellingham. Best on the ball. That's an unbelievable ball out wide to Davies. Could have a shot. He is left footed. Takes his right and track saves it. Wow. Not sure if that was the, the correct foot. JP wanted to shoot with. But great save by Czech. And that's a lovely bit of player movement by Dundalk. To send Mbappe through. Killing Mbappe! Unbelievable! A shot across goal in an angle you would never see going in. Keeper left clueless. Defenders left clueless. And Dundalk left with a smile on their face here. Taking the lead 4-3. Just at the brink of halftime. And there we see the whistle. 45 minutes left in this fixture. Great goal at the end there by Dundalk. And Eric Finn really showing what he's all about. But if we see anything like the last game, we know that UCD can push forward. They can put on the pressure. JP knows what he's doing in terms of attack. He's really, really upped his game here in terms of counter-attacking. You've seen that on the end of the first leg. It's the second leg now, and it's his chance to get payback on Dundalk. And get some more points on the board. And let everybody else know, heading towards the Camden on April 18th in the grand final of the E-League of Ireland tournament, that JP is not to be messed with. Of course, Eric Finn being the previous champion to the E-League of Ireland. Undefeated so far. Dare I say, potentially an undefeated campaign ahead of him. This, this draw, or, or potentially a win for JP, would be a massive statement here for our competition. 45 minutes left on the clock. And here we go. Dundalk. Lead the attack here. Philip Lamb. Bellingham. Great bit of... Ooh, great touchdown and dribbling here. Finds best. Goes back to Keane. Has Charlton and Mbappe in the middle. Haaland out, running out wide. That's the header down. We're used to seeing that one. Defended well. Ferdinand going to cut out that possession. And there's a chance here. Hansen's just offside. Very unlucky. A millisecond earlier. That could have been a big chance for UCD here. And Best is onside. Moment of madness. George Best. Oh, it's in the back of the net. Wow. All the defenders were caught flat-footed. Just in that moment. Dundalk get another goal. That came out of nowhere. I think there's so much pressure out wide with how Eric Finn plays EAFC, that sometimes you don't expect them to go down the middle and play it that simple. But right there was a great example. Oh, what a ball over the top to Ogbeni. Collins is there, though. His own Irish teammate cutting out that and making sure that UCD don't get another chance forward. And here's Dundalk with one of their own over to Haaland. Mbappe's running in the middle. The early cross. Kenny Mbappe! Great save. Oh, he's offside. No way. That was so close. Keeper saved it regardless. But what an attack by both players. They're really both enjoying these over-the-top high-through balls. Sending the, sending the wing-backs forward. Giving them a chance. And oh my word, what a ball! Oh, what a finish! Wow! Hansen with the goal. But that pass was absolutely world-class. Unbelievable. Courtois finally fulfilling his role here for UCD. Both players really enjoying this play in the air right now. Both players fighting success. And it's a crazy watch for anybody watching this at home. As you, you see football is being pinged virtually 70 yards across the field. Or potentially even more um, with the way it's played. It is absolutely hilarious. Patelis on the ball. Gives forward to Courtois. Has players running through. When Ferdinand is there. to just about solidify Dundalk getting possession back. Such an interesting game here. Best on the ball. Goes back. High through ball over the top. Collins is there to clear it out. And Bellingham pushes forward. Haaland the interceptor here. 
potentially a bit more defensive side of play from Dundalk's attackers. And we can see Eric trying to hold possession. Doesn't work for him. Here comes UCD. Patelis gives it back here to Davies. The pressure out wide has been doing very well for both players here. Courtois in the middle. Finds Cullen. Look at that dribbling by Cullen. Still has the ball. Is Hansen onside? She is. Best with the finish. And that's going to be the equaliser. Wow. Five all here. 66 minutes in. And nothing can separate Dundalk and UCD in this fixture. 20 or so in-game minutes left. Oh my word. Kylian Mbappe. Find space through. That's a lovely turn. Bobby Charlton. Defended well by Ferdinand. And it's all going down here. Best on the ball. The Hansen. Ball over the top is on. Here he is. Oh, Benny. The Irish superstar. Green time and Pierre Cech is there. To decline that occasion. Wow. Bellingham keeps it in. And this is absolutely madness. Five all. Wow. Chance is coming in galore. This is what the E-League of Ireland is all about. Entertaining EAFC. Both players really showing as well why they deserve to be in the finals. Best here just slaps off his back. Very unlucky by Dundalk here. And UCD have a chance to push forward and to make that statement. Oh, dispossessed here. Not looking good. And Mbappe, great header to find Roy Keane who's onside. Keane, Holland! Oh, it's in the back of the net. And that's why he is there. 97 rated. Wow. Unbelievable. I think the highlight of that play was Roy Keane. It has to be said. Got into position. Managed to scrape by the defender. Not only that, but stay up. So many occasions you see a player fall to ground, give it free. Keane stays up. That's what he's about. Gives the ball through to Haaland. And Dundalk lead this fixture. 15 minutes left on the clock. Best. Over to Mbappe. It's back to best. We see Haaland on the back stick with no one on him. Haaland. Oh, Peter Cech has to come out. Fantastic save. And once again, another factor where we see keeper movement prevailing again. Just rushes the keeper out. Has to close that crossing scenario because we know once it gets on Haaland's head, could be game set in the match. Lovely play here. Davies switches it to best. Rodri defends here. And this could be a big attack for Dundalk. Haaland moving forward. And we see Eric recycling here. Just composing himself a tiny bit. And he has that experience, of course. He knows what he's doing. Collins defends well, though, for UCD. Bit scrappy here. Back to Patelis. Only one goal in. 82 minutes on the clock. Jude Bellingham. Proved to be just an absolute presence in Dundalk's side here. It has to be said. Aerial threat. Can defend as well. Also push the play forward so much here. He's really been a star player for this Dundalk side today. Along with that Philip Lamb as well. Who's been pinging. High through balls and crosses to the width. Keane back to Bellingham. Ferdinand. Lovely ball across to Collins. And we see Eric here looking to close this game out. Oh, great header. Back to Charlton. Isn't no further than just about keeps the ball. And Collins has it. Could be the last attack for UCD. Will Eric Finn's reign of W's be ended here with a draw? We'll have to find out. Patella sell wide. Finds it in the middle. Rodri. Great defending. Oh, my word. Rodri was the only player in front of the man to stop that chance. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be that. Dundalk are undefeated heading towards our grand final live in the Camden on April 18th. Unbelievable play. Commiserations to UCD and JP Sleater. Put on an absolute show and gave a performance that I'm sure a lot of players are going to be worried about if they come across him in our grand finals. Well played to both players. What an absolute cracking game. Unbelievable stuff there by Dundalk and UCD. Both, both players as well, of course, going to be very respectful of each other on that occasion. Uh, all about attack, all about entertaining gameplay. And that's what that game was all about. Incredible, incredible fixture, uh, which does, of course, mean Dundalk, FC and Eric Finn uh, will stay remaining at the top of the table. Uh, we'll see JP Sleater getting second place uh, with UCD in Group D. We have an amazing fixture coming up as well, folks, very, very shortly. We got Finn Harps, Ryan Duffy up against Drogheda United's Owen Mulligan in... I know, now listen, I know we said it before, but this is the biggest event 
uh, of the E-League of Ireland apart from the grand final. This dictates in that Group B absolute crazy group of death, I like to call it, who's going to make it through. Big, big game coming up, folks. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Everybody and welcome back to the E League of Ireland tournament, powered by Virgin Media. We're joined now by Eric Finn. Uh, Eric, we'll talk about your game briefly before the next fixture. What an unbelievable game! A lot of madness in terms of attack there. Uh, how was that game for you? Yeah, the only way I was going to get kicked off top spot was by a six goal deficit, I think. <laughs> so I just said, let's give one for the fans and just go. <laughs> fuck with you. It was a bit of crack anyway. Um, and uh, by the end of it, it turns out I'm the only player across four groups to win all eight games. So I'll take that accolade. Wow. Going into the finals. That's crazy. I know I said it on the stream. I wasn't sure about points. Uh, going going into it, but yeah, that, that that's incredible to see. Uh, I mean, look, you're, you're the reigning champion for a reason. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see 
who can um, knock you off that top spot. Eric, I got a question for you, though. If there anybody at the moment who could knock you off the top spot, who would it be? Well, oh, yeah, it really depends. I will see you on game day. I don't want to say, say any names, honestly. I don't want anybody <laughs> letting them into, into this little brain of mine. But, you know what I mean? Everyone's watching, man. Big game coming up, so everybody's tuning in, I'm sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay, listen, we got our fixture right now. The guys are kicking off. Uh, big game. It's Finn Harps, Ryan Duffy against Rodney United's Owen Mulligan. Let's kick off the action. So, Eric, let's let's chat about this game. We didn't get a chat to a pre-show, but, man, this is incredible. Eric, it's Group B. Uh, the winner of this goes through the finals. Talk to me. Yeah, so we have Ryan Duffy, who is obviously with Finn Harps, and we have Drahdy United's Owen Mulligan, who, Owen Mulligan, if he wins this game, he will then leapfrog Connor Dooley with Cove Ramblers and go first with 19 points. If he draws, he'll take home second place with Owen Mulligan. And that means Duffy is out with a draw. But if Duffy can muster up a win against last year's ELOI finalist, he will find himself in the knockouts, sending last year's ELOI finalist home. I mean, talking about pressure, but here's a bad pay to make it 1 0. Wow! Incredible! Drahdy and I, it's Owen Mulligan, makes a statement early, and he's trying to get to the finals. Eric, the pressure's on today. I was just saying it as the ball hit the back of the net. A great goal early on from Owen. He's putting the pressure on. Yeah, to be honest, he, he is a very good player. We all know that. And uh, he will come in as the favourite into this fixture. Uh, the last time they played, it was a one-all draw, but I would say Owen Mulligan did have the lion's share of chances that time. Now... Not only does Duffy and Finn Harps need one goal, but they actually need two. And right now, he might oh! find himself two goals down, which means oh, Ryan Duffy needs three. We're so early on as well, Gareth. Wow. I mean, look, we got two legs in this fixture, but what a start for Owen Mulligan. This is the Owen Mulligan we wanted to see earlier in the tournament. We feel like he had a bit of cold feet heading in at the first few fixtures, but he's really found his feet here and it's happy feet. Wow. Two goals in, nine minutes into the game here, and Duffy needs a big performance to come back into this, Eric. Yeah, big time. Three goal deficit is, is phenomenal, really, to come back against. Uh, Owen Mulligan, who, you know, this is a, a whole land spot on the line. It's not just a normal game like myself and JP. Both of us were already qualified for the land. Like a three goal deficit against somebody who is very, very hungry to reach the land event is going to be a real, real tough challenge. Yeah, and we're going to see if Duffy's the man yeah. for it, but he loses possession here very early on again. Ferguson has Mbappe running along and Haaland. Mbappe receives it. Haaland in the middle. Will he find him? And dare I say, three goals early on. Zidane, Ferguson, back to Mbappe, step over, boost Mbappe, green time, great defender by Duffy there, and he's going to need to do that for two legs, Eric. Yeah, exactly, Owen Mulligan will get more and more and more chances, but right now, this is a new one from Owen Mulligan, I haven't seen him work it to the edge, back to De Bruyne, went for the finesse shot, that's a new one, honestly, I don't think Owen Mulligan needs to touch his corners, his corner routine is already pretty pristine, so I'm surprised to see him change it up. But let's see. I'm, I'm hoping, Duffy, for the sake of all those watching, but also just for the sake of drama in the tournament, I'd love to see him get a goal back. We see Haaland running yeah. down the right-hand side, looking for somebody inside. Does he need him? Best. Trying to drill the ball across. Can't find anybody. And it's Zidane, which is a first. We actually haven't seen him at all this tournament. Yeah, Zidane, no, not very often we see him here in the midfield, but uh, at, at the back there defending. And dare I say, he looks like he's playing a very central role here as well. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how Duffy's able to play against that. Mbappe out wide, gets pushed off the ball. It's going to be a free kick here. Um, or, or imagine it's going to be a short, not a lot of lofted balls really come here. These kind of set pieces. Duffy back to Albene to best. Players in the middle. He's trying to find them. Owen setting up an absolute wall of defense here though. Duffy needs to be on his A game to get in here. Finds a space in the ball. Oh. That's going to be a penalty, surely. It is. It's a penalty. Wow. Finn Arps have a chance here to get a goal back. This is huge. Best on the ball. Goes for the shot. And he goes down the middle and it, it is saved. Wow. Ball again though. Mbappe tries to give it to Haaland. Eric Ryan is going to be feeling that shot for weeks to come. Wow. That should have been in the back of the net. You see, the, the issue with going down the middle is you... If you go on the sides, uh, you can pick left, uh, sorry, up or bottom, top corner or bottom corner, and the keeper won't save it. But if you go down the middle, there's no up or down. You know, it's a very, yeah. very easy save. I'm very surprised. 
Yeah, wow. I mean, look, for both players, you know, I wouldn't expect expected anybody to go down the middle for the exact reason you've just stated. But then again, for Owen to stay in the middle as well, it's a moment of madness, really. Yeah. We've seen a lot of those here in the E-League of Ireland, but it's potentially more to the story of Benny on the ball here. Again, pushing forward to Bruyne. It's getting very scrappy in the midfield. Duffy really trying to force these passes through. And he gets behind the player again. Duffy moving forward. De Bruyne has an option in the middle. And Bellingham defends. Better by Duffy though, Eric. Yeah, thankfully we're seeing him here. And Best works it to the edge of the box. Goes for the Travella. Goalkeeper saved it nicely. Just looked a little bit weird to me. But yeah, I mean, Duffy is getting on top now. Maybe a few little nerves coming out of Owen. I'd imagine Owen will try and just slow this down going into the, the half of leg one. Uh, because at the moment, it's all Duffy. But he does find himself two goals down so early on. He just, I, I, I would imagine, he just hasn't switched on yet. Even the penalty is just a bit, it's a bit crazy, honestly. Yeah, it really, really is here. Uh, both players um, putting, well, let's try to say, Owen put his best foot forward here. It's been unlucky for Duffy. The header down is there, but defended well here by Duffy. And he's going to need to get out and put on some pressure here. We we'll see if Finn Harps can get back into this game. Mbappe on the ball out wide. Oh, Benny catches him. Such a good player to have in these teams, Eric. Yeah, personally, I haven't opted for him. I'd like to use Collins just to stay back. He has better defensive attributes. Um, I'm sure you noticed in my game. Left back for Collins. Yeah. He's not trustworthy down the middle, but you know he did his <laughs> job anyway. Yeah, no, for sure. He's a good player to have in terms of stature. Mbappe! Great save by Casillas. Um, wow, Finn Harps leaving that shot open. I think expected a bit of dribbling there, but we see Owen Mulligan going for the shot. Uh, potentially a corner tactic here. Not a, not exactly onto the goal line, Eric, like you showed us earlier. <laughs> yeah, I tried my best. It, it did end off the crossbar in the end, but uh, again, I had to give something to the people at home. <laughs> it was good to see. And what a ball, Holland! Yeah. It's at the back of the net to make it three. Great bit of play there. Ferguson with the assist. Just fantastic gameplay. That's all has to be said here. Draw the United Owen Mulligan straight from the get-go. We can see Owen is prepared and he's ready to rock. Three goals to the good here. Um, 42 minutes in, Eric. Uh, Duffy needs a shake-up and he needs a fast. Yeah, oh my uh -oh. God, you're telling me. Mbappe, he's in. Easy uh -oh. goal. It's 4 nil in the first half of leg one. This is ludicrous. Finn Harps, Ryan Duffy, I can only commiserate you right now. Not getting to use the competitive mode, but having to deal with friendlies, which obviously has not gone too well for him thus far. I tell you, Eric, if that controller is in one piece right now, I'd be surprised. That is just a moment of madness right now. 4-0 inside one half. You know, in games like these that are usually close, we usually see these type of scorelines over the two legs. But wow, it's just really been an absolute stellar performance by Drogheda United and Owen Mulligan in the first half. Um, Big, big scoreline to catch up here. This is something, Eric, that I don't think either of us expected. Yeah, crazy. I like. I know Owen came in as the half favourite, but to, like four goals in the first half is just crazy to me because yeah. we know what Duffy's like. He keeps himself in games and he keeps it really tight right until the end. This has just not been him today. What we've seen so far is just not we're, what we're used to seeing. And even the penalty then, this could be a completely yeah. different game. It really, really could, you know. I've talked previously about momentum being a big thing and that penalty could have been that moment where it shifts and both players reset a tiny bit, you know? I just feel like Johanna United here have just kept possession. They've kept the pressure forward. And more importantly than not, they've just been so consistent. Uh, Owen's really played his, his, his cards right here so far. Now, bear in mind, you know, we have three of these halves left over the two legs, but it, it's hard to see right now what Duffy needs to do here to break down Owen. Eric, what would be your opinion on this matter? How does Duffy get back into this game? So he, he needs two goals this half. And personally, I know that um, Owen is using Jude Bellingham at, well, it was left back, I think it is still. He's currently on a yellow card. So for me, attack down the right-hand side, try and get, honestly, this is, because it's really bad right now. You know, you need five goals to go through to, to the land event. So for me, it'd be attacking him. But Mbappe here might have a chance, just can't yeah. let the cannon loose and get a shot off. But he does have a corner. Bobby Charlton in the best. Looking for a little bit of space to open up. Back out to the Bruyne. Again, on defense really, really well. And it's really hard to see some sort of opening. Benny on the right-hand side. Lofts it back post into Haaland. And again, 
once again, well, offside actually in the end, but I bet really good in the air there. But sorry, as I was mentioning, we had Jude Bellingham, so he is on a yellow card. I would be attacking down his side every single time, hoping that he clips me, get him sent off, and then, you know, really start to pile on a lot of pressure in that regard. But right now, over even over, you know, uh, another leg in total, but also the rest of this half, five goals against a really good player and Owen Mulligan is difficult. It really, really is. I mean, we've seen what he can do. I think last year, his defensive performance was very, very impressive mm. in, in the E-League of Ireland. So uh, you can see here that he's coming into his own game and we're potentially seeing, seeing shades of that old mulligan uh, compared to what we've seen at the start here for the E-League of Ireland this year. So it, it's great to see, but we got to see a bit of competition here. We want to see Finn yeah. Harps and Ryan Duffy get something back here to not make it a one-sided show and to really prove that he is the one that should be going here to the finals. Ogbeni with the ball at the right-hand side here, looking for options in the middle, tries to force the pass through, and you can tell here if, if it's nerves or if it's just frustration here. But he's finding it very difficult to break down Owen, and he needs to figure out this puzzle, Eric, soon. Yeah, honestly, but like I think Owen's going to do the things that are correct to do in this situation. There's a land spot, I know I said it already, but like he wants to go to the land. He wants to maybe take home the trophy this time around. So... He's not only four goals up, but he knows what it takes to win this game. You know, he's going to take his time going forward. He doesn't need to rush anything. He is four goals up. I can't believe it. Yeah, it's, it's really a crazy, crazy scoreline. You know, in 45 minutes uh, or even less to score four goals. And at the same time, though, you know, we're in the second half right now. Um, we're nearly 20 minutes in and we haven't seen a goal in the second half. I think everybody's calmed down a tiny bit. Um, Owens, Owens a bit more you know, into possession. And like you said, he knows what to do. He's going to hold the ball a bit more. But can we see Bellingham or any of these players here for Finn Harps? Put something in the back of the net. De Bruyne back to Bellingham. It's been a back and forth between both of them. We can even see centre-backs pushing up here, tries to force it through to Haaland. The pass is just not there. And yeah, we can see that the Duffy definitely needs to switch up here. Yeah, it's, it's it's really difficult, obviously. Like, it's hard enough to score against Owen when you're drawn. Never mind when he doesn't have to attack. So yeah. it's it's going to be a difficult scenario. I would not be surprised to see Owen go 5 nil up before we see 4-1 happen. The penalty is, is really the decider in this whole scenario. If that goes in, it's just a completely different game. It really is. Haaland, though, has space here for best. Is there one in? It goes out wide. Tries to fake the ball that we know is coming across. Bellingham on it. Bellingham hits the crossbar and goes out for a goal kick. Unlucky with the strike there, but you know, it's something we haven't seen Ryan really go for shots here. I think we've seen two shots inside that first half. Good one there. Yeah, yeah. No, he done well, to be fair to him. Uh, he worked the chance well. Shooting on Bellingham's left foot when he has forced our weak foot is a, a question up for the bay. In saying that, <laughs> I took a shot with Mbappe earlier on, who also has it, and he scored. But I did green it. I think the main thing there is green, yeah. timing, sh green time shooting is, is pretty imperative. Um, so... It's going to be a really, really difficult scenario now. Um, the only thing he can really do is kind of go for it. But again, it could be too early to do that. If you can get one back in this game by playing the way you currently are, then you know, then you don't need to go for it straight away in game or leg two. But right now, it's um, it's not looking great. No, it's not indeed. And we can see Davies coming in in that wing back slot here for for Owen Mulligan, um, looking to get a bit of extra pace in for the end of this half and. Um, potentially, potentially a wise decision there. Um, we've seen Davies previously, Eric, and he's a fantastic hard to have. Very, very hard to get by him. Uh, Davies, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's fantastic. He's so fast. Obviously, you saw JP with him. He was he was getting sent on runs every every two minutes. The poor fella <laughs> yeah. had no stamina by the end of the game. <laughs> but yeah, he was so annoying to track because he is is like one of the quickest cards in the game. So uh, he actually is playing him in right back. It looks like. Uh, with that overload, and again, we see Owen Mulligan coming forward, Duffy trying to defend the box rather than the player, green time finesse goes absolutely nowhere, but the chance is still on, Mbappe knocked down Ferguson, back to Mbappe, tries an elastico, and now can we see something from Duffy as he tries to mount forward? Duffy moving forward here at pace, De Bruyne leads the attack here, best on the ball, has players in the middle again, tries to get the pass across, Mane receives it, could he go solo? Goes back to Patelis. Step over, and that's the wrong skill move, I think, Eric, at the wrong time there. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody ever inputs uh, in a reverse step over by, by <laughs> yeah. purpose, honestly. But again, a nice little over the top ball. Alfonso Davies looks for the cross, but once again, cut out by Ryan Duffy's defense. Um, I, I'm really sad because I wanted this to be a, a completely competitive affair throughout. And again, it is competitive, don't get me wrong, but I just wanted more drama. It's hard to see it coming now, Gara. Yeah, I know. It's it's a game that we've been we've been you know talking about for weeks with the lead up of the points and how close they were. And I mean, I did. I don't think anybody expected Owen Mulligan to come out and and have this absolute onslaught of attack so early on here. Um, and that's his commentators. Never mind what Duffy's feeling right now. But can he? push forward here and get one back. We said he needs a goal or two to get back into this game for the second leg. And right now is where he needs to shine. Mane on the ball. Does a bit too much with Mane. Gets past the, past the pair once or twice there. Just doesn't get the pass off. Yeah, again, it, honestly, we're not seeing Duffy attack like he, he usually does. Uh, he's obviously trying to switch it up because he d hasn't found what's working for him. But right now, it's just whatever he's trying to do, just not working. And Mbappe shot... Just on target, yeah. nicely covered by Casillas. But again, this could really end up 5-0 before 4-1. It's looking that way. I mean, only three minutes left here of standard time. One more attack in it. And I think Finn Harps needs something to push into the second leg. Very hard to get five goals in one leg alone. And it's going to be... Is it offside? I think it is. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah just too far gone here. Um, and we know with Owen Mulligan, he's probably going to hold the ball here and play out this whistle uh, with the last attack of this first leg. Stands 4-0 at the moment. Only a brief amount of time left. Davies re receives the ball out wide. Has Ferguson in the middle on Mbappe. Davies tries to go back to best. Potentially one more if it's fast. Oh, I don't know if no. it's not going to get there. <laughs> Cullen defends that. And we're going to see in the first leg, Trotty United, Owen Mulligan, lead with four goals against Finn Harps, Ryan Duffy. Um, Eric, talking about that game right now, it's not something we expected to see. Um, we've seen a, a very good Owen Mulligan, but Ryan Duffy was just not himself that game. He couldn't find the pattern to break down Owen. No, he really couldn't. Uh, it's it's very disheartening because I just really, really wanted some drama. I wanted late <laughs> goals. You know, it's the last game of the whole tournament. You know, uh, well, in the group stages, I mean, before the LAN event uh, on April 18th. So I just wanted as much out of this game as possible. Now, obviously, it's not over. We have a whole leg to play through. You know what I mean? This is football. This is FC 24. Things can happen. But Owen Mulligan, four goals to the good, a LAN spot on the line. He is going to play whatever way he must to get this win. And I 100% would as well. Yeah, I mean, look, he, he's a player with experience as well. We feel like we know how he's going to close out the game. But look, there's one more leg to go, Eric. Yeah. I don't want to say it, it's, it's, it'd be a miracle, but, you know, we have seen people come back into the competition with a couple of goals and be a different player in that second leg. When it comes to experience, though, in the pro scene um, and learning your opponent, I feel like the first leg comes into play here. So look, if Duffy is that skilled and he deserves to be in the final, we could see a different Duffy in the second leg. Yeah, exactly that. We could. You know, this is, again, once again, it's FC24. Anything can happen. It's just really hard to see because of the performance <laughs> that we've just seen. But Duffy could go uh, a super cyan right now and just <laughs> blow on Mulligan and Drady you know, out of the water. It's going to be really difficult for him to do it. But I do love a good underdog, good comeback story. This could just be the cream on top. I mean, look, we're going to have to wait and see. It's the final game for the group status of the E League of Ireland live on the stream. Finn Arps, Ryan Duffy faces Johnny United's Owen Mulligan. Let's get into the action. So here we are, Eric. The curtain call, as they call it. Four goals. Johnny United lead here. Um, could we be seeing some... You know, Champions League history-esque moments here. Talk about Liverpool, Milan. Could we see something similar here, Eric? Yeah, maybe some remontada. Barcelona versus <laughs> PSG. Uh, we could. This is the thing. Five-goal deficit is what Duffy needs to qualify. Um, it needs to, you know, come back from to qualify. So it's going to be probably the most difficult thing to do. But you know what? I'm, I'm so here for the attempt. And obviously, we're seeing Finn Harps and Ryan Duffy in white. And we have Drada and Owen Mulligan in red. Uh, that is offside. So once again, Duffy with the ball. It's going to be interesting to see if he's changed anything, if I'll notice anything in his setup. Right now, nothing looks too out of place. What do you think, Gareth? 
Um, yeah, it looks like there's nothing uh, that I can see anyways um, that's really different. Um, it's more the style of play I think he needs to adapt here to come back into this. It seemed like a lot of the time on the ball, he was drilling low passes and not using his dribbling that we used to, we used to seeing him do to open up space. You know, I feel like it's part of Duffy's play and it's part of what makes him a great player. And I feel like against Owen in that first leg, he just maybe he wasn't confident or he didn't feel like it was a style to go with. But, you know, we've seen Duffy execute a high level of dribble here and you know we want to see more of that potentially in the second leg yeah exactly and you're dead right his dribbling in in you know the other seven games that he's played was one of the reasons that he found himself in such a high position with a, yeah. the amount of points that he had so uh, it, it has been strange to see that kind of eradicated from his gameplay and um, maybe that was a, a strategic decision for himself but uh, it, it obviously at the moment has not paid off that much at all um He's using Haaland. I know in previous games that we've watched him, he doesn't always start Haaland. He mustn't, you know, obviously with his dribbling and what he does, he mustn't entirely agree with his, you know, his unique body type as such. So I'm surprised even to see Haaland still on the pitch because uh, I know he doesn't enjoy him all that much. Yeah, I mean, maybe he's looking for, for the header down as part of this technique that he's using there, but we haven't really seen much of no. it either. I feel like he has a lot of different tools here in his team and, you know, from even, even watching you in previous games and you know, who use that kind of technique, just not using it the right way or maybe not adapting his style to be able to break that in. Um, you know, we know he's able to go down the line, he's able to dribble, but haven't seen a lot of a lot of crosses and a lot of these aerial threats here. So we're going to see if he can bring that in this leg. Haaland through the middle. Not where we used to seeing him. Haaland on the ball, though, and just fizzled wide. You know, Haaland, we talk about the aerial threat. He's able to run down the middle. He, he does have the strength as well there. Very unlucky not to see the back of the net, Eric. Yeah, it's even more frustrating when you see a shot a cross body like that go wide because it means they, they had the capabilities to, you know, put it in the net just a little yeah. bit to the left of it. If it goes centrally, it means the angle wasn't exactly on. Um, that's that's my, you know, understanding of it anyway. So yeah. when it goes into the keeper's hands, you don't feel too hard done by. But when it goes by the post like it did just there, it's 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 really hard to say, you know, oh, that I did something wrong specifically, you know? Yeah, it's it's more of the kind of chance matter of oh you're yeah. unlucky in that occasion. Yeah, hundred percent. I definitely know where you're coming from there. Um, but look, it, it was a good shine of attack there from Duffy, and he needs to put more of that forward in this second leg. De Bruyne on the ball here for Drogheda. Owen Mulligan pushing forward with De Bruyne has options. Sedan on the ball goes back to Kevin Travella potentially on here. Goes back to Best edge of the box. He's just waiting for his moment. He's making Duffy move left and right here. Of Benny on the wing. And that's the thing about Owen here. He can afford to use this time and to just suction that up. Great bit of dribbling by Zidane. Ball over the top to Haaland. Header down. Tries to put it through. De Bruyne is there to take it out. And we know, Eric, over the next 70 odd minutes that Owen's going to be, you know, clutching up time like that and utilizing the fact that he has the ball in possession. So I think Duffy needs to realize that when he's pushing forward. Yeah, exactly. So uh, Owen, what he did realistically there, he wasn't so much attacking as he was just holding the ball. And it's really hard then yeah. for Duffy to go near him because he's going to pull someone out of defense, which will allow him to, you know, get an easy shot or a goal on uh, in the net. So he, he just had to sit tight and hope. But at the same time, he doesn't really he doesn't really have much time left in general to allow him yeah. to just you know, pin him back into his own box and pass it around his box. So it's it's exactly what all Mulligan should be doing. This is a very professional performance from him thus far. But, you know, it's it's just looking worse and worse as time goes on. Yeah, it's not looking like Duffy may have a good day here. Haaland on the ball. Goes out wide. Players in the middle. Bellingham gives it to Best. De Bruyne. Player lock in Bappé! What a save by Casillas! Fantastic keeper movement there by Duffy. Would be great. We've seen a bit more of that in the first leg, but he kept the ball out there. Yeah, he did a great job, to be fair. These switches of play have just not worked in the slightest for Duffy today. Um, yeah, again, great keeper movement. Chances like that are going to come time and time again for Owen Mulligan. He's going to have to break his shape defensively quite quite a fair amount of times to even get the ball back now. Um, yeah. But I'm, I'm impressed by Owen Mulligan and how he's you know dealing with the occasion. He doesn't look too nervous right now. Um, he, he is obviously a few goals up, but you know, again, this is a very important task for him to complete if he does want to reach the land event. So I am impressed with you know the the possession that he's had, but also the the decision making that he's done. Yeah, he's done very well on the ball. He just looks so confident and clean yeah. when he has the ball in possession. You, you don't feel like he's going to lose it very often. And 
I think that really goes to show you what kind of player he is and what standard he's bringing here to potentially a final. Mbappe on the ball, has Haaland in the middle, back post, tries to put it on the ground for whatever reason, Eric, and it's not the right play at all. No, it's unfortunate. Like, you know, he is trying, and I know that. And this is a very, you know, high-tense game. It's difficult to make decisions uh, in a in a decisive manner. Yeah. So it's been difficult thus far. And, like, I do feel for him because it is a very important game. And we all have our off days. It's just one of those. Yeah. Um, and today, just unfortunately, happened to be his. It, it's just a shame. That's all you can say so far. Yeah, it's it's a pity to see, you know. Duffy's been one of the more exciting players to watch on stream yeah. as well, you know, in terms of his attack and how ex- how just exhilarating it is to watch, um, but just hasn't been able to figure out how to get by Owen Mulligan here. Um, one half left in an Eric for our final broadcast before uh, our live final. Um, Duffy needs to just bring everything forward here and, and hope for the best, Eric, because um, when Owen gets the ball, he's going to be taking up a lot of time. Yeah, like this is do or die now. You got forty five minutes to get five goals, so you need to score a goal every nine minutes, essentially. Um. Oh my God! You haven't scored any in 140, 135 minutes, but now you need to score five within forty-five minutes. Ooh. It's it's really difficult, you know. The, the, in terms of all that, uh, yeah. oh, again, again, credit to him. This performance, this is a very very big game, and he showed up, and that's exactly what you have to do if you want to make the land of it. Yeah, it's it's been really really impressive, and Ooh. you know, if we had any questions of of dodginess in terms of you know. Owen, the way he started here in the E-League of Ireland, wasn't the fixtures weren't going his way, didn't look like his own self, but he certainly looks like he's well-equipped here to to face the finals. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what he does uh, if he gets there. Yeah, like with this result, he'll go top of the table. So, you know, the loss that he faced in week one, the draw that he had against Duffy, all of it is moot point now. It's, it's, it's none of it really matters. He could have won eight. He could have won six. It doesn't matter at the end of the day now. But he did make a change in net. Mark Travers is in net now instead of oh. the CS. And it's a killer ball. And it's Evan Ferguson who gets the goal, which I am happy to see Evan Ferguson score. But I am sad to say 5-0 down. Ryan Duffy, your chances of land event are nearly, nearly up. Yeah, it's very unfortunate there. You know, we've seen him bring on uh, a low-rated keeper to push more players forward. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it would have mattered, though. I think Owen played that pass really, really, really well. Exploited the width of the gameplay there. And um, look, he's done that fantastic. Uh, another goal here to make it five. Um, there we see in the replay that Haaland shot. And I'm definitely there's definitely a couple of moments here uh, that Duffy's going to look back at and he's going to be thinking, man, I wish that shot went in. I wish that went my way. Um But then again, you know, there's always a story, Eric, you know, in terms of uh, players coming through adversity and learning from experiences like this. And I'm sure we're going to see a lot from Duffy in the future uh, if this fixture doesn't go his way. Yeah, exactly. And he's made some killer content leading up to every single week. You know, he put something up on X or wherever he may put it. And it's been hilarious. You know, he's very, he he wanted, he looked forward to every single week playing this. You know what I mean? So um, if it isn't his day and he doesn't see himself reach land, um, I would love to still see him in the Camden April 18th, uh, you know, in any capacity, even if it's on the desk yeah. while I'm not around. Yeah, 100%. Uh, it's really been a great personality in this event, uh, which you don't often get to see in a lot of pro competitions, I won't lie. Exactly, so yeah. it's, been, it's been great to see him get involved uh, in a good capacity here. And of course, be a, be a good sportsman uh, in all the games he's been a part of. But here's Owen Mulligan again. Hannon on the ball, finds Mbappe, and it's it's definitely going to be wide. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> nice to see that with Mbappe, Eric. Yeah, exactly. That's what I said. Left foot of Mbappe is not very good unless you green it. So I'm glad I greened my shot in my game because <laughs> that's exactly what would have happened elsewhere, otherwise. Yeah, I mean, very unlucky there by Owen not to get another goal here uh, in this success fixture that he's really brought to the table. Mane out wide. For Finn Harps here, Ryan Duffy trying to get something back in, utilizing some of that dribbling we're used to seeing him do here. Very, very nice bit of dribbling. Find space in the middle, goes through. And sometimes I wonder, Eric, if we've seen more of that Duffy earlier on, it could have been a different fixture. He's so good at dribbling. Yeah, and I wouldn't mind. That's how he got his penalty. And then we just didn't see it again for the rest of the game. So, uh, yeah, definitely interesting. I I, I love him. I love Duffy. I love <laughs> Owen as well. They're both very good competitors. I just wish this was a better um, spectator a spectacle for everybody involved. Because right now, hopefully Duffy can get something on the board. And he can't, oh. unfortunately. Jude Bellingham, who I think is now playing left back still. Sorry. Um, 
But yeah, very interesting. And even Mark Trevor's coming on. Duffy knows exactly what he's doing. A very strategic player. But right now we have Evan Ferguson clear through on goal. The only person stopping him from scoring is Mark Trevor's. And he cannot. He dives out of the way like it was he was in some sort of crime film. Um, <laughs> we see Evan Ferguson once again get a goal to make it 6-0, Gareth. Yeah, that was a Jackie Chan-esque dive, I tell you, from the goalkeeper. All right. Uh, stunt, stunt-esque, if you will. But yeah, look, it's another goal. Um, Evan Ferguson was through there. Um, Owen knows what's going on right now. He knows he's against a very low-rated keeper. Um it, it, it's it's there's probably going to be one or two more in in this I'd say, but you know, I probably want to see you know uh, Ryan Duffy get get a goal back here. I feel like he's been unlucky in a couple of occasions, and um, I'm sure he wants to celebrate something in the last couple of minutes of the game. Yeah, exactly. Like he he's had a great great group stage in general, uh, yeah. taking a point off of Owen Mulligan, uh, and then obviously he won five games drawing two. Like only last week was his first loss throughout the whole group stage. You know, That's he, crazy. Other than myself, he was probably well. No, there was a few that unbeaten, uh, but he was the only one left unbeaten in Group B last week. You know, so it's it's really interesting to see. You know, he won't even make it to the LAN event. That's just how difficult it was in Group B. Yeah, you know, I talked about it on stream earlier being the group of death that's going to be offside. Um, it really was a group of players who were all on kind of similar wavelengths and ability, and it's why we've seen the fixtures go so close back to back. But this for me has been the game where if any player got a shine in this group, it was Owen. You know, like I said previously, started off a bit dodgy with performances early on, but this is the only we're used to seeing, and he's a demon at work when he's on his A game. Yeah, exactly. Defensively, obviously, he's been really, really good as well this game. Yeah. Um, you know, over two legs, which is which is amazing to see. Bobby Charlton on the ball. Little Lacroqueta still has the ball somehow, and it's time to recycle De Bruyne. Can't do anything. Now, can Duffy get a consolation to round out his his group stage? Because right now, seven goals within 18 minutes. Gary, what do you think? I don't know now. My match isn't the best, Eric, but it seems like a fairly hard task. Great <laughs> save there by Travers, though. Travers taking a the save there for the team. Um, but yeah, look, I mean, it's all about consolation goals in this moment in time. Um, Owen Mulligan just putting the cherry on top, really, with his performance and showing what he can do. Ball back to Haaland. Could have an option in the middle. Chooses not to use it. Haaland has an option back post. Goes for Charlton to make it seven. Unbelievable play there. And he grinnies as well. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a backhander, Eric. Absolutely. Honestly, you're six nil up. I'm, he's feeling awful as it is. You don't need the gritty someone. At, do it at one nil up if you're confident. You know, like that's my philosophy on, on them sort of celebrations is if, if you're confident in winning, do it when you're one nil up. You know, that's... Yeah. yeah. For me, it's just like... Um, like, he is hurting already. Yeah, you don't need to do that. That was the... Like, of all the professionalism in terms of gameplay he's shown us today, that was on the complete opposite scale. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it reminiscence to me back in the day when the shush celebration was in the game. Uh, that, that was always the, the cheeky one to bring out. But the Gritty's taking over that status this year. And, um, I mean, look, I don't know if he's trying to make a statement to everybody watching or, or whatever, but, um, I mean, yeah, the, the gritty is as, uh, how would I say, as disrespectful as it comes, Eric. <laughs> I mean, scoring seven goals against somebody without getting one back is pretty disrespectful as it is. <laughs> that is, um, honestly, it's crazy because maybe you're right, though. Maybe it wasn't directed at Duffy. Maybe it's directed at the likes of me. Y yeah, uh, maybe yeah, it's yeah. Like, the people that giving him a little bit of grief in the last few weeks for, you know, taking a loss. Uh, in the group stage and taking a draw in the group stage. So maybe maybe it wasn't about Duffy, and I hope he gets an explanation after the game. <laughs> well, after waiting to see Eric Allen on the ball, out wide, options in the middle, lovely. Oh, and it goes <laughs> through the keeper. That's what happens. He's doing, when you don't... Yeah. He's doing it again, Eric. Yeah. I, th I think he's heard us right now, Eric. I think he knows what he's doing. He's sending a statement to the rest of the E-League of Ireland here. And um, what? Well, it's... Some performance, but it's cheeky old finish. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm here for it, man. You want to celebrate like that against me? That's absolutely fine. You don't have to worry about it, sunshine. But you know what? 8-0 eight nil, eight is a great scoreline. He showed up when he needs to. He's done absolutely nothing wrong in this game. Hasn't stepped a foot wrong in the whole thing. Ooh. If only uh, Ryan Duffy's players weren't cross-eyed, I think he'd be probably have a few goals up of his own. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I don't think he's... he's... He's really hit the target on a lot of these 1v1 opportunities. Call it a bad day. Call it unlucky. I mean, a couple of chances, but 
Yeah, he's just been not able to hit the back of the net where he needs to. Theo on the ball. Goes forward to Mbappe. Has options forward. Ham. Could we see a reverse gritty? Ooh, bit of a foul there. Ham still has the ball. Mia Ham. Power shot over the bar. Wendy Renard there just about clears that out. And if I was playing this game right now, Eric, I'd definitely be looking for that gritty payback. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was, maybe he might even score all eight goals. Or maybe it's last goal wins. <laughs> <laughs> I remember making that joke on a previous uh, broadcast, Eric. You had to, had to disclaim to people watching at home, it is not next goal. No, it's not. No, no, it's not. I do enjoy the idea, though. I do. No, I it's, think it's, it's good. It, it yeah. is. It is. Oh, ball beat waste, but oh, time wasted here on the edge. Um, and that's going to be that's going to be that. That's the, the fat lady singing, as you call it, guys. 8 0. Um, massive, massive win for Trotty United's own Mulligan against Finn Arps, Ryan Duffy. And that means that Drogheda United will be seeing the grand final here of the E-League of Ireland in the Camden in Dublin on April 18. Commiserations to Duffy. Fantastic player. Did really well in Group B, but just didn't make it to the finals. Uh, Eric, great performance by Owen. Uh, tough to see Duffy go through all that in terms of goals and gradient. <laughs> um, how would you sum up that, that performance by both players? Um, one abysmal and two amazing. You know what I mean? They're just opposite ends of the spectrum. Unfortunately, it's not the Duffy that we wanted to get today. He missed the penalty early on. I think once that penalty was missed, it was a real telltale story of what was to come. Um, unfortunate for Duffy. He's been a, an absolute trooper throughout. Kept in games and won some amazing, amazing ties over the course of the last five weeks. Uh, but congratulations to Owen Mulligan. Fantastic performance. Eight goals put by a very difficult to beat Ryan Duffy. Uh, and he sees himself finish top of his group, which was exactly the goal in the first place. He can forget about the loss that he took week one against Dooley. He can forget about the draw that he had against Duffy. It's first in sailing. He's first seed and now he gets to play somebody second in another group, which might make his time getting to semifinals a little bit easier. Yeah, and that's what it's all about with, with the seeds, you know, in the group. Um, And to be fair, as it started off, Eric, I know we, we chatted about it during the game, but we've seen Owen with that rocky start. And I feel like this was his peak in terms of gameplay in, yeah. in what he can do and what he can show going into the grand finals here. And like you said, you know, against a good opponent in Duffy, he really brought it forward today, not only in attack, but we've seen a defense performance very similar uh, to the E-League e of Ireland last year where he was he was the man to score a goal against. In your fixture, even in the final, Eric, was it three legs uh, where you guys couldn't be separated? Yeah, I think there was there was too many legs, put it that way. There was two <laughs> legs and then a, a nil all of golden goal and then I think I got it in the first half. But yeah, like he, he is a very a defensive mastermind in terms of, like last year he was anyway. This year, it is a little bit more difficult to um, to to not concede sorry so we'll see like it really depends lan is completely different than online and he's got the job done online amazing as of you know the other seven finalists it's going to be who can show up on the day like hopefully i have a good day i might have a duffy day as well i don't want to call it that apologies but <laughs> it's got to be difficult regardless is what i'm going to try and say yeah i mean look uh, it's all about the big day now. For anybody watching at home, that is going to be the last broadcast until our grand final on April 18th. It's been five weeks of absolute magic here in the E-League of Ireland. We've had 20 clubs battling it out for a place in our grand final. And that's all that has to be said. The story is going to finish on April 18th. Um, Eric, I just say thank you so much for joining me uh, for all of the games so far here. Uh, they've all been spectacular. It's been great to have you. Uh, commentating with us and giving your you know insight and kind of professional opinion on the games the finals coming up though eric um any last words for any of your opponents you may be watching right now and uh, none i don't want to take that opportunity to make it about me uh, all the boys could have been in this desk at some point you know uh, yeah. they're all good lads and they're well able to speak so i will just mention who made the top eight um yeah. I'm, I'm, my brain is a little bit con confused into exactly which club it is but i know group a we have Cork City and Kieran Walsh, and we have who he obviously Kieran and Cork came first, and in second place we have Wexford, Wexford FC and Mark Hayes. In Group B, we see Owen Mulligan and Drogheda United come first, and in second we see Cove Ramblers and Connor Dooley in second place. So congrats to them. Group C, another one, Tyron Ryan finished top of his group with Shamrock Rovers, and then we have Lee Kieran's, which I'm pretty sure is Athlone, but if I'm wrong. 
I, I'll probably get a little slap at the wrist <laughs> after. But yes, Lee did finish second. Yeah. And Group D, you have myself with Dundalk, who finished first. And you have UCD's JP in second. So congratulations to all eight finalists. 18th of April. Keep it free because you're coming to the Camden. And I can't wait to see us. Yeah, it's going to be a fantastic tournament. Um, and look, if you have anything marked down at home, folks, this is the one you want to see. This is going to be the highest level of EAFC we've ever seen in this country. Trust me, this year has been a spectacle for all these players. And they're going to all lay it out. We're going to have one finalist, sorry, two finalists and one champion on April 18th. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Really appreciate uh, anybody who's been tuning into the broadcast over the last couple of weeks. But until our grand final in the Camden, April 18th, we'll see you there. Have a good evening. Look after yourselves. I will see you very, very soon.